Hey you guys, it's Zippy. Um, it's been a very busy week, so that's why you haven't seen me too much. Uh, first of all, I'm going to have to split this into two videos, I'm pretty sure of it. Last week, um, last weekend I went to a blues festival. Let me see what time it is. Okay. Anyway, last weekend I went to a big, big blues festival in Jacksonville, and, um, with Kim and Gary, who live nearby me, but I met them on the internet, and another group, another couple, um, X and Michelle, or Sean and Michelle, and I met them on the internet too, they're from Nebraska, so they came down to have fun in the sun, fun in the Florida sun, so. Um, the Blues Festival is starts like at Friday at 5, it goes till midnight, then from Saturday till 11 till midnight, and then Sunday from 11 till whenever the end. Um, we had such a good time. We the flu, the festival itself is free, but um, we got VIP seating because it's cheap. It's 50 bucks for the weekend, and um, that way you can get your own porta potty, and uh, and your own uh, drink truck, and uh, and you get really good seats. So we always like really good seats, and. Uh, they have a great big uh, craft fair out there and festival food. And uh, anyway, we had such a good time. Um, we stayed in a place called Seawalk Hotel. It's about a half block off the venue, so if you don't want your butt to touch a porta potty, and I didn't, um, you can just head on over to the hotel and go to the bathroom in your own bathroom. So that's what we did. And uh, it's really cheap, except the hotel is very expensive because they jack it up for the weekend. And we paid it. It's our big deal. The evil Dr. Donnie went with me as well. And this is his first year. Um, this is our fourth year of going. Fourth year? Yeah, it was our fourth year. And um, we just, they run bands all day long. And if you get tired of the band, you just take off and go for a little walkie-poo and go do whatever you want to do, and then you come back, you know. So that's what Donnie and I did. We went to, uh, we went to take a little walk, and there was this corn dog stick. And it was about twice as long, three times as long as a normal corn dog stick, and it was shoved into the ground. And I'm walking along, minding my own business, should have been minding my feet, because the corn dog stick shoved up into my shoe and I fell over. Pam. I was so mad. I was so embarrassed. You know what? You know what it was, really? What it really, really was is that up to that point, I was feeling skinny. The minute I fell over, I was a fat chick all over again. You know, it's like, what the heck? You know, I can't get away from it, you know? Why does that stuff always flood back to me, you know? Here I am doing really good, and then all of a sudden, I've got this fat chick thing going on, you know? So that was, I recovered. Donnie's like, you just fell down, are you hurt, are you hurt? I'm like, you don't understand. You can't understand what it's like, Donnie. You know, when you're doing good, and then all of a sudden you're fat all over again, you know? And I just stopped trying to explain it to him. Hang on, I'm trying to get a better view on this thing. Anyway, I stopped trying to explain it to him. I was just mad. Just mad. What the hell is that? Hmm. Anyway, so later on that day, you know how the handicapped, the handicapped portion of a curb is real flat to the street? Well... I'm following behind Kim, and uh, Donnie was with me, and I saw the flat part of the curb. It was the entrance to VIP seating, so um, I'm walking along, but I didn't see the curb. So I took a dive, another dive. I fell again, twice in the same day, not even the same weekend, the same week the same month or the same year, the same freaking day. I was so mad. I laid there on my stomach. People were walking over me. That happened before as a fat chick. 
where I've fallen over a curb and had a guy step over me out of the pizza joint. Step over me. He didn't ask me if I was okay. He didn't ask to help me up. Nothing. Stepped over me. I thought, this is because I'm fat chick. I'm telling you, it's not a fat chick thing. It's a rude people thing. So I'm laying there and I'm cussing like a banshee, like a heathen. I am cussing and pounding the ground. And Donnie's like, get up, honey. People are walking over you. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> and I'm like, no. I'm mad. Leave me the hell alone. You know? And so uh, I finally did get up. And when I did, what happened was when I fell, I hit first my chin and then I hit my nose. And I thought I broke my nose. And I stood up and blood is pouring out of my nose. I'm like, crap, I broke my nose, you know. I've never busted my face. I mean, I fell face first into the cement, so. Anyway, um, and when I got up, apparently there was a cop near me, and he was like, is she drunk? Is she drunk? And I'm thinking, no, but maybe I should start drinking. Maybe I can walk on my own two feet, you know. I'm going to start drinking probably improve my walking skills, you know, or at least if you fall down, you can say, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, you know, and Kim's like, no, 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 she keeps falling down because she had the surgery, which that wasn't it, but good job, Kenny, you know, and uh, so he, the guy who uh, is letting people in with VIP, he checks your bracelet and everything, he calls the EMTs, and the EMTs are like, give me gauze, are you okay, blah, 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 and everything, and don't worry about it, you know, you're going to be fine. I'm like, I'm crying because I'm so mad. I'm just, I'm okay, I feel mad, you know. And so, uh, anyway, uh, they said, Are you want, do you want to go to the hospital? I'm like, is my nose broken? He says, no, it's not crooked. If it was broken, it would be crooked. So I'm like, I'm, no, I'm cool. He said, listen, whatever you do, what's going to happen is your nose is going to get full. And it's going to coagulate. The blood's going to coagulate in there. And you're going to want to blow your nose, but don't blow your nose because it'll start bleeding again. And I'm like, great, I'm going to have a snoot full of blood, you know. I had to pick my nose all weekend to get blood out, you know. So one side is snotting because it didn't really take the hit. The other side is uh, is bleeding, you know, and filling up with blood. So a little bit later I went, instead of blowing my nose, I went, oh, that was not a good idea. Because uh, something that felt like a piece of liver just slid right down my throat. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Ew, that was nasty. So, um, but I was okay. My friends took a picture of me with my bloody nose, and I had a booger hanging out on one side and blood on the other side. And of course, they took pictures because that's what you do at the Blues Festival. Well, you take pictures to commemorate, commemorate the event. So. Last but not least was my very favorite part, which um, was the very last person who played, and that's Shane Dwight. And if you've not heard of him, he mostly plays, he used to play mostly in the Bay Area in California, San Francisco area. Well, he's moved to Nashville, so he comes every year to the Blues Festival. Oh my goodness, he's so delicious. I love looking at him, and I love listening to him. Well, some friends of ours that we of ours that we see every year at the Blues Festival had friends and family passes, which means they had the excellent seats. So uh, they gave me a friends and family pass so I could go and sit next to the stage. I mean, belly up, you know. And I got some really good pictures, and I was having such a good time. And uh, anyway, so we were having a good time. At least I was. Bloody nose incident long for, forgotten. So anyway, but we had a terrific time and uh we're going again next year, so if you're in this area, Jacksonville area, it's the first full weekend of April. Bringing the blues is the event. Go check it out. I'll try to add some pictures. We'll see you later. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.